Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Ready DC. Oh, today we're going to be taking a look at another pass around knife. This is the Best Tech Horus. Now it was provided by Best Tech to our pass around group. So we greatly appreciate uh, Best Tech doing that for us. They've been very good in supporting the, the pass around group and just, just can't thank them enough for doing so. So let's zoom out real quick. We'll take a look at this guy. There's our profile. Now you can see there, you've got kind of a bronze, stonewashed titanium handle. Got that matching backspacer. Got a bronze milled titanium pocket clip. Do have a small lanyard hole there. And you see that you've got the black and gold on the pivot collar, which is kind of an interesting contrast to the all bronze. Got a four and three quarter inch handle length on it. And as I measure it, you've got a three and five eight inch grip length now when I measure my grip length I measure from point here to point here so three and five eighths natural grip length it's a manual flipper See there, you've got a 3 and 5 eighths inch S35VN clip point blade. Yep, clip point blade. That's what they call it. S35VN there. Of course, you got the Best Tech logo there. You got the black stonewashed grind. Satin flat. And then you've got the black coating in the fuller as well. Overall length on the Horus is 8 and 3 eighths inches. Best Tech knives are made in China. Let's get our scale. We'll get our calipers. We'll start taking some measurements on this guy. So, I'm going to start out in grams on our scale. Ooh. Make sure I didn't... Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's zero that out. Okay. I'm getting 155 grams or 5.5 ounces. So, it is a decent size knife. Got a little bit of weight behind it, five and a half ounces. Take our measurements. All right, so we're gonna start with thickness. Pretty much right at that half inch. And at the widest part, I'm gonna guess looks like it's about right there. So, widest to the pocket, 1.38. Not too bad. Let me make sure I got that right. I'm not all cockeyed and stuff. Yep, 1.37, 1.38. So, carried very well in pocket. I didn't think it was a pocket hog at all. Pocket clip was pretty good in and out of pocket. Good retention. Do you see you've got a bit of a ramp there? So, it wasn't too bad. We'll show you. We'll get our handy dandy sharp spot hank out here. Dusty's so nice for doing that. There you go. Sharp spot, Hanks. Made in Idaho. 
And let's see here. So there's your pocket profile. Not too bad. Do have a little bit sticking out of there. I'm seeing about a half inch. For most of these knives, that's pretty, that's fairly standard without a deep carry pocket clip. About a half inch out of pocket. And you know what? I do have to give credit where credit is due. So, Stuart, here's your shout out, buddy. Using the Hank was Stuart's idea. He's like, man, you should use a sharp spot, Hank, to do your, to show the depth in pocket. And I was like, that's brilliant. That, that's an excellent idea. And I'm very sad that I didn't think of that. But, anywho, love you, Stuart. <laughs> My overall take on it, guys. I mean, this is another well-built, solid, best tech knife. I've had a few best tech knives on this channel so far, and I tell you what, guys, whether it's their titanium models or their G10 over stainless liners, I mean, they just do a very good job on their knives, and this one is no exception. It's It's got a very, very smooth action on it. Yeah, it's a little shake shut. Zips right out there. I mean, extremely solid lockup. Now, blade. I love the stone wash. I love the two tone stone, you know, the black, the stone wash on the black, the satin. I really like the contrast in the blades like that. The whole, the blade shape. Now, they did call this a clip point. Um, the blade isn't necessarily grabbing me. This, this exact blade shape. You know, it just, it doesn't, I don't look at it and go, wow. But, I like the actual, I like the look, the contrast, just not so much the shape. Got a finger choil there that's kind of shallow. I mean, my, I don't have overly large fingers, and my, so... My finger gets right up on that edge, so, I mean, you could call it a finger choil. You could call it an oversized sharpening choil. I personally probably would not use it as a finger choil, honestly, just because, I mean, I could, but I'm really, really close to the edge of that blade. Not a huge fan of that. Uh, the jimping, the jimping is pretty much for decoration, as you can see there. what is you really i mean it's shallow to begin with even up on the the part of the spine where it's not covered by the handle it's pretty shallow but you know there with the blade and the handle come together it's just yeah it's not overly effective you have a little bit there that is kind of effective but there's not enough of it you know what i mean in my hand I mean, there's my thumb. I mean, the jimping's pretty much... My thumb's basically past the jimping. So, not really not really over-effective jimping there, for me, anyway, in my hand size. To the handle. Love the look of it. I love the bronze. Uh, that There seems to be a lot of the bronze going on, and I'm kind of okay with that. I really like the way that looks. As far as comfort, it's very comfortable in hand. Even without the jimping, though, I get an excellent grip on it. I mean, it's titanium, so it's going to be a little slippery, but it's not too bad. Really. I get a really good grip on it. Pocket clip. Pocket clip does not, does not seem to affect my grip at all feels pretty good yeah no nope, pocket clip doesn't seem to affect my grip much at all the finish on it finish is done very well 
everything is chamfered where it should be. There's, I mean, I search and search and search and cannot find any sharp edges. You know, right here with a cutout, I mean, that's not sh overly sharp. So, good access to the frame lock. It does run on bearings, so it's pretty smooth. I don't believe I said so, but it does have a steel insert. You can kind of see that in there. Let's see. Let's shed some light on it. There you go. You can kind of yeah, there you go. You can kind of see your steel insert in there. So it's steel on steel on steel. Overall, it's a very solid knife. Another well-built knife by Best Tech. The blade just doesn't really grab me, but then again, that's just me. Overall, though, the knife, very well done. Blue liked it. He gave it an 8.5. I think that's pretty fair. Now, the Horus does retail for $185 pretty much on any retailer where you're going to find it. So, thanks again for Best Tech for giving the Pass Around group a chance to look at another another well-built knife i mean best tech's doing good things like i said whether it's more their higher end knives kind of like this one or their budget models you know like the beluga the torpedo those types whatever they do they seem to be doing it very well so thanks guys as always it's great to have you join me here spend some time with me checking out knives as always like subscribe, leave me a comment. You know I love talking to you. And until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.